Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a non-standard equation. We have 3 to the power x plus x to the third power equals 17. And we're going to be looking for x values. I'll be showing the solution method and then two graphs at the end. Because we can approach this problem in two different ways, pretty much. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it. First of all, I'm going to isolate the exponential. So let's subtract x cubed from both sides. And we get the following equation, which is equivalent to the original one. Now consider the function f of x equals 3 to the power x. That is an exponential. Uh, let's go ahead and differentiate it. We're going to get 3 to the power x times ln 3. ln 3 is positive, And 3 to the power x is always positive. Therefore, this is a positive first derivative, which means f is increasing. The first derivative gives us good information about whether the function is increasing, decreasing, decreasing, or if it has any, you know, maxima or minima. So let's also take a look at the other function, which is 17 minus x cubed. And then let's differentiate it too. If you do differentiate it, the derivative of 17 is 0. The derivative of negative x cubed is just going to be negative 3x squared. And as you know, this is always negative as long as x does not equal 0. At 0, we're going to see what happens. I'll tell you more about it later. But this basically indicates, except for x equals 0, g, which is the second function here, is decreasing because its first derivative is negative on that interval. Great. So we basically have a function that is increasing, another function that is decreasing, and they are equal to each other at a certain point, which means there's only one solution. And in this case, that happens to be x equals something, right? Let's go ahead and find out. Well, here's the thing. If you consider this equation and look at those two functions, we can kind of make a table of values too. Like, for example, you can make x and 3 to the x. Like for x equals 0, this is 1. For x equals 1, this is 3. For 2, this is 9. For 3, this is 27. And you can kind of make a similar table for the other one, which is 17 minus x cubed. For 0, this is 17. For 1, this is 16. For 2, this is going to be 9. For 3, this is going to be negative 10. Notice that we already talked about it. The x values, the y values are increasing here. And the y values are decreasing here. And obviously, at some point, they're going to be equal, and that is when x equals 2. So it's kind of like guess and check. I know it's not like algebraic, but there's nothing you can do because this is non-standard. But it's easy to guess on a certain interval, especially. So x equals 2 is the only solution. All right? There's no other solution because one function is increasing, the other one is decreasing. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the graph, and we, I'm going to show you an alternative way to approach this problem real quick after the first graph. So the first graph is going to show us these two functions intersecting at a single point, which is 2 comma 9, which shows x equals 2 is the only solution. So 17 minus x cubed is basically, remember the cubic function? It is always decreasing because it's negative, and 17 just brings it up 17 units, and 3 to the power x is always increasing, it's exponential, and they intersect. Now another way to approach this problem is looking at the original equation as a function, 3 to the x plus x to the third, if you go ahead and differentiate that, you're going to notice that this quantity is always positive, right? Which means y, in this case, whatever the function is, is always increasing, and it's going to intersect a horizontal line at exactly one point, which is 2 comma 17, which means x equals 2 again. And... This brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.